Welcome to Real Estate in Real Time. I'm Woody Zimmerman here with Mark Skabowski at Remax Lakes. Welcome to the show. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. It's hot. It's it, really it's hot. It is really, really it's hot. hot. <laughs> I'd go on and on. There was some comedy show to where it's not just hot, but it's, well, there, I don't know if it was Richard Pryor or not. Which, if <laughs> yeah, it's Richard Pryor, right, right, you know yeah, I right. can't say yeah, it. Yeah, you what. can't say it here. <laughs> Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Eddie Murphy, that's yeah. right. Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Eddie Murphy, which I still can't say what he said. Yeah, is that the ice cream? And, and yeah, we'd be getting bleeped. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'd be getting bleeped. Yeah. But it's hot. It that's is, all I know. It's it hot. is hot, yeah. But we're thinking it's summer. What are you going to do? Right, exactly. And hey, it's, you know, we're, it's, this is uh, lake season. This We're in lake country. You yeah. Know? And so... It's, uh, it's good for us. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. It's perfect. We'll take it. And uh, the housing market is hot. It's mm -hmm. picking up. It which, is. For me personally, yeah, it is. But as we talked about, <clears throat> it's been moving up um, through the year. April was a bit off, but May recovered really well. Yeah. Um, interest rates have been holding, you know, right around that 7% mark, sometimes a little lower, sometimes a little bit higher. And I guess kind of looking at today's show, the thought was, let's talk about for buyers, control what you can control. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't control everything. Mortgage rates in you. Yeah. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. So, you know, many times people say, well, I'm going to wait till rates fall, or I'm going to wait till prices fall, or I'm going to wait till this happens or that happens. And I guess the whole purpose of today is control what you can control. Mm -hmm. So many folks were thinking, hey, the Fed met last week we're going to get a reduction, you know, or anytime the Fed meets, they think, hey, the prices are going to change as a result, or, or the mortgage rates are going to change as a result of what the Fed does. Okay. The Fed does not establish mortgage rates. They establish the rate that they charge banks to loan them money back okay. and forth. That's okay. what the Fed is doing. Okay. So banks then make their own decisions. That's why banks have each have got different rates. Right. That's, you always see a list you of like see different lists. Yeah. Every, because everybody chooses. They have their own set of fees. They've got their own, how much do they want to make? So if, if they're paying, you know, and ultimately the Fed wants to get the federal rate down to 2%. Mm -hmm. Well, if that's the case, then banks can obviously charge us less because they're making the difference between that 2% rate they're being charged and what they're charging us. Okay. So the federal funds rate is what the Fed charges banks for loaning them money back and forth. Okay. And it's a big mess, I get it. It's uh, deeper than what I totally understand. I've got the, the 30,000 foot view, but many people hear that in the news, well, the Fed met and they're gonna reduce rates. Well, I'll now just wait, because my rate's gonna go down. Mortgage rates, Lenders are competitive. Mm -hmm. they, they're all throwing different programs out there trying to keep buyers or yep. borrowers, whether it's a home equity, yep. whether it's a mortgage. Excellence. Yep. Right. Yep. Yep. They are competing against each other. Yep. And many times it's, you know, we've gone away from the service sector, so to speak, right? Walking into a bank, knowing your banker. I know my stepfather, that was one of the things I always said, always know your banker. Yeah. Do you know your banker? I mean, I know a couple of bankers. Yeah. But I can't say that I'm in it's my different. bank. It's different. I mean, it, I it's just different. I haven't walked into a bank, you know, I mean, like the weekly go cash or check right. and stuff like that. That doesn't happen it anymore. doesn't happen anymore. And that was the time that my stepfather, that was his thing. Yeah. You need to know the people at the bank. Well, it's all online now. Yeah. Right? You can deposit checks, I'll withdraw, pay, bills. pay your bills online. How ACH, often are you in yeah. that or, yeah. that brick and mortar? Yeah. So... Yeah. You know, the, those days are gone, mm -hmm. pretty much. I mean, yeah, there's still some walk-in banks that you can go and, and be serviced at. But those banks are competing, and, you know, their rates adjust according to how much do they want to make, given what the Fed, the Fed rate is, what their fee structures, and all of those things. Mm -hmm. it, it's competition. It is what it is. So can you control that as a borrower? No. Can you control what the Fed rate is? No. Nope. No. What you can control is what you control. Mm -hmm. And one of those things is your credit score. Yeah. Right? So a lot of times, oh, rates are high, this, that, and the other thing. Well, that's that's perfect. But if you've got really good credit, you're going to get a better rate mm -hmm. than what someone who doesn't have really good credit. Mm -hmm. it, it's just that's how that's it good is. business. Sense. Yeah, right. Right? So if I've got somebody that's got an 800 credit score and somebody that has a six. 40 credit score, the 800 credit score has proven through time that they are a better risk to me as a lender. So 
would I not give them a better rate or better terms or something, mm -hmm. an improvement over what somebody at a 640 credit score is going to receive. Yeah, of course. So, you know, many times we try to push out, well, they're trying to take advantage. Well, guess what? What have you done to prove that you're okay? Mm -hmm. and, and lending has changed dramatically since the first time you bought a house or since I bought a house. Yeah. It, it's, it's amazing the stuff that they want to see. I mean, the deposits they have to verify just... And all, a lot of that is due to regulation for them. Mm -hmm. it, because many banks, they don't hold those mortgages from now till when it matures at 30 years or 15 years or 10 years. So if they sell those loans, so in order to sell the loans, all the I's have to be dotted, T's have to be crossed because they're going out on the market and selling those loans to other entities mm -hmm. that will ultimately receive your funds over the next 30 years. So gone are the days of the local bank holding your mortgage. Yeah, You walk in the door, you pay your mortgage once a month to, to Molly who's at the front desk. Yeah, right, yeah. You know, you're not, you're not in there doing that. They're not holding it. Now many banks do retain servicing so they may sell the loan, but you it's seamless to you. You're still sending your payment to the same place because everything else is, is happening in the background. Right. All stuff that is, you know, we can't control. Mm -hmm. And that's the, the theme of today's show is yeah. <laughs> control what you can control. And after the break, we can talk about some other things uh, that you can control that will impact your interest rate and getting a mortgage. All right, very good. You're listening to Real Estate in Real Time. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You're listening to Real Estate in Real Time. I'm Woody Zimmerman here with Mark Skabowski of Remax Lakes. And uh, we're talking about control what you can control. Control what you can control in the mortgage process. I'm not giving life lessons. I was going to say, it sounds right. like life we're, skills. We're, we're not giving life lessons, right? We're, we're I got yeah. enough of my own control issues, right? right? Yeah. I'm not going to pass those on to yeah. other people. But. So, you know, we, we talked about keep your credit in good shape. Yeah. That'll help you as far as the, the finance side goes, the mortgage rates, um, so credit score. The other thing is your loan type. <clears throat> and that goes back to, I don't know, last week or week before, we talked about, um, you know, getting your savings in order to be ready to buy a loan to, to make sure that you're in good shape. Yeah. So with not only just your savings, but your budget, all of those pieces. So the credit score impacts the rate that you're gonna get, but mm -hmm. also the type of loan that you're gonna get. The rates are different. So the rates for a conventional loan are different than the rates for an FHA loan, yeah. or different than a rate for a VA loan, yeah. different for a rate for a USDA loan. You know, and each of those loan types, uh, that loan types is a show in and of itself. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to break those down, but typically conventional, insured conventional, you're, you're putting some money down. Yeah. Um, rates for that will be a little different than a VA loan, which is 100% financing typically. Yeah. USDA loans, 100% financing typically. And FHA, which is a minimum 3.5% down. And each of those loans have their own, you know, I don't know, hiccups, blurps, yeah. <laughs> whatever, their own uh, requirements yeah. to where, when I say a hiccup, it's it's just, it's different. Conventional, cash is one thing. Mm -hmm. Conventional is a little bit different. The requirements aren't as stringent. Mm -hmm. FHA, USDA, VA, there's some other things that are attached to those. Yeah. So the loan type impacts what your interest rate's gonna be. Mm -hmm. So can you control that? Yes, you can by having down payment and being able to go conventionally, you can control the interest rate that you're going to be charged, mm -hmm. right? It, but doesn't mean you can't buy a home if you're going 100% financing. Yeah. Because the programs out there to use, you just don't have to have as much right. yeah, money could, yeah. in the bank in order to do that. My first payment. time was FHA. It was uh, a less down payment, but yeah. a higher interest rate. Right. Yeah. Higher interest rate. Um, so can you control that? Yes, you can. Because many times people, well, I can't do such and such. Well, your credit score is a big driver to that. Yeah. Secondly is how much money do you have available? What kind of funds do you have available? Mm -hmm. Which you can control by saving to be ready to buy. Right. Right. So the interest rate is going to be impacted by the type of loan program that you choose. The other thing, and a lot of people don't think about it, is not only the type of financing that you do, but the term 
of the financing. Yeah. Now, most people, when we talk mortgages, say 30-year loan, mm -hmm. right? Most yeah. of us are doing a 30-year loan. Mm -hmm. Why do we do that? Because the monthly payment is less. Yes. Because it's spread out over 30 years. However, as a result of being spread out over 30 years, you pay more interest over that 30 years. Sure do. So, but there are plenty of other opportunities to do a 20-year loan, to do a 15-year loan, mm -hmm. to do a 10-year loan. Yeah. Now, with those, yes, you pay less interest. However, your monthly payment is going to be more yep. because you're paying it back in 10 years with interest or 15 years with interest or 20 years with interest yeah. versus paying it back in 30 yeah. years. Yeah. So a majority of people, the rates that you see advertised are typically for 30-year mortgages. Mm -hmm. So if you want a lower rate, do a 15-year, do a 10-year. The other thing that you can do, and this goes back to savings, um, to have enough funds available to do it, is you can prepay interest, which are called points. Yeah. You can pay points and buy the interest rate down. Mm -hmm. So it all goes into that big bundle. How do I get the best mortgage rate? Well, good credit score, yep. all right? Have some dollars available to do conventional financing, uh, and then shorten the loan term, and the last thing would be prepay some interest. Mm -hmm. Prepay those points. Now, if you're only gonna be in the house for a year or two, doesn't make any sense to no. prepay points because you're prepaying that interest rate down over that entire term. Will you get it paid back in a, in a shorter period? But if your objective, if you're doing a 30-year mortgage and you're going to be in it, you anticipate you're going to be in there a longer term, then maybe paying points makes sense for you because your overall monthly payment is less because your interest rate is less. Mm -hmm. Whew. That's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. It is. It's a lot of stuff. And that's where the lender that you work with is very important. That's true. To uh, guide you through the program. Right. But for you, you can control certain things, keep your credit up, save your money if you're getting ready to buy a house mm -hmm. and make a good decision for you and um, your family. Yeah. So, And you always say, go with a local lender Yeah. because then you can control some of those things a little bit better. I, because one time I did go online and I hit one of those places yeah. where the banks call you or whatever. Yeah. I had 50 banks call, you know, within, an, within right, a minute. Right, yeah, right, within yeah. A minute, right, yeah. Right, so right. Uh, anyway, so no, that is great information. Uh, control what you can control. And uh, you hit on some, uh, some very good points. If you'd like to continue this conversation with Mark, make sure you reach out. Sure. Website, skabowskiteam.com. Phone number is 574-527-0660. can always email me, mark at skabowskiteam.com. We'll get this up to YouTube, so yeah. check out the channel. Just, you know, search in the YouTube search bar, Skabowski Team, you'll find us. All right. Sounds good. You've been listening to Real Estate in Real Time. Have yourself a wonderful weekend.